Hi. In this video, I want to fine tune my site for mobile devices. I created a page with several content sections, a header, and a footer. Most site visitors will open it on mobile devices, so I want to ensure the mobile version looks good. I'll start by editing the page with Live Builder. I'll press the responsive button at the bottom of the side panel and pick the relevant device icon on the preview. First thing, I want to improve the header. I can see two issues. The menu elements need more space to be displayed. And I'd like to hide the upper part of the header for mobiles, as now it has too much information. I press the Edit Header button and open its mobile version tab. Next, I open the top area settings and deactivate the show area switch. Also, I open the menu element settings and its mobile menu tab. I specify the width under which the menu should use the mobile layout. It will show a hamburger icon that opens the menu on click. I save the changes and refresh the preview to check the result. This way, it looks much better. I am moving on to the page content. The first section got the text description and the relevant image. When I switch to the mobile preview, this image takes up too much space on the screen, so I would rather hide it from mobile devices. I'll open the setting of the column with this image and specify the hide on mobile's checkbox in its design settings. I can close the side panel to see the layout as it would display on the actual page and compare its layout for desktops and mobiles. The following section got an inner row element with several columns showing the icon box elements. When I switch to mobile preview, I see these columns use a single column layout. However, there's enough space to use a two-column layout instead. I'll open the inner row settings and specify a two-column layout in its columns tab. This way, it looks more compact. The following section got a grid element showing portfolio posts. Its single-column layout for the mobile version takes up too much space. I'll use a two-column layout for it as well. So I open the responsive tab of the grid element settings and specify the number of columns for the relevant width interval. This way, the section looks way better. The next one is the team section. It uses a two-column layout that transfers into a single column on mobiles. I want the images for the mobile version to be slightly bigger. So I open the image element design settings and activate the responsive settings in its sizes tab. Here I specify a bigger size for mobiles, for example, 200 pixels. Next, I copy the design settings of this image element and paste those to the following image elements below. Thus I specified bigger sizes for the images on mobiles without adjusting their desktop appearance. Next, I check the footer layout. Its content uses two columns. The first has text aligned to the left side, and the second is right aligned. When I switch to mobile preview, I see that this layout could be more optimal for mobiles. I start editing the footer to fix that. I activate the responsive again and open the mobile preview. Next, I open the column design settings and activate the responsive mode in its text tab. Now I can specify the centered alignment for mobiles. I'll do the same for the second column. It already has the proper alignment, so I'll activate the responsive and set the centered alignment for mobiles. Now I can save the changes and check the final result.
It took me no time to edit the site's mobile layout and fine-tune its appearance for both desktops and mobiles. Thanks for watching. In this video, I edited my site's mobile layout. In the following video, I'll show details on editing the site content with the Live Builder.